A husband and wife are having sex when their child enters the room and says, Dad, can I play with you? The father, bewildered, says, All right. The boy sits on his father's back and the father continues with what he was doing. The wife starts moaning and at that moment, the boy tells his father, Dad, be careful now because this is when I always fall off Uncle Ben. A young woman covered in bruises and black eyes came to the doctor with a problem. The doctor said, my goodness, what happened to you? She replied, you see, doctor, every time my husband comes home drunk, he beats me up with his hands and feet until I fall down. The doctor reassures her, don't worry, I have a remedy for that. Next time your husband comes home drunk, have some chamomile tea ready, and as soon as he enters the apartment, start gargling with it. A couple of weeks later, the woman returns to the doctor, looking fresh and without a single bruise. Doctor, you're a miracle worker. When my husband comes home drunk, I fill my mouth with chamomile solution and gargle, and nothing happens. He doesn't even touch me with a finger, the doctor advises. See how sometimes it helps just to keep quiet. Two men were drinking in a village. Everyone was drinking except for one man. They asked him, why aren't you drinking? He replied, I can't, I'm coated and he's sworn off alcohol. Well, another man decided he wanted to be coated too and asked, where did you get coated? The first man answered, at our local blacksmith. So the man went to the blacksmith and said, I want to be coated against alcoholism. The blacksmith told him, take off your pants and bend over. The man was surprised but he took off his pants and bent. The blacksmith had his way with him. The man was pulling up his pants and the blacksmith said to him, if you drink, I'll tell the whole village. A drunkard got drunk right at the cemetery, fell into a grave and fell asleep. He woke up at night, realized he was in the cemetery. He saw a grave digger digging a grave. Feeling in a good mood, the drunkard thought, let me scare him. He found a white sheet, put it over his head approached the gravedigger and shouted menacing. Woo! The gravedigger looked at him indifferently and continued digging the grave. Cheery, the drunkard didn't understand, so he came from the other side and shouted, even louder and scarier. You, 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 you. The gravedigger still didn't care, looked at him and there was no reaction. The drunkard got upset, went to the cemetery gate and even forgot to take off the sheet. As he reached the gate, the gravedigger caught up with him hit him with the shovel and calmly said, go ahead and roam around, but don't leave the territory. A woman is with her lover when suddenly her husband comes home. She prays to God, please make it so my husband doesn't find out. A voice from the sky responds, all right, but you will perish in water. Two years later, she received a cruise ticket as a gift. Suddenly, the ship started to sink and she cried out, God, you won't drown everyone because of me, will you? God replied, I've been gathering you all, you promiscuous people. For a wife is having fun in bed with her lover while her husband is on a business trip. Suddenly, they hear the door being unlocked. The lover asks, who is that? Who do you think? It's my husband? Damn it, no one else has the keys. Go ahead. But where can I hide here? Run to the kitchen and stand like a statue. The lover runs to the kitchen and stands still. The husband ends. Darling, I'm home. I'm hungry from the road. I could use something to eat. Honey, what's this nonsense? Oh, I bought a statue. I heard our neighbours, the Petersons, have the same one, so I decided to get one for us too. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. They have dinner, make love, and the wife falls asleep. In the middle of the night, the husband gets up, quietly goes to the kitchen, opens the fridge, takes out ham and cheese, makes a huge delicious sandwich, shoves it into the mouth of the man standing like a statue, and says, man, eat up. I stood at the Peterson's place for two days and not a single thought of feeding me. A married couple decided to spice up their intimate life. They bought the Kama Sutra, a book with many positions. They tried one position, then another, and a third, Everything worked out beautifully for them, but in one position, they needed a third participant. The wife says to her husband, listen, go get our neighbor, John. After a while, the husband brings the neighbor, 
They continue as a threesome. Suddenly, the neighbor gets furious. Guys, it's already the 30th page, and all I do is suck or lick. A rabbit is walking through the forest, sees a squirrel, and falls in love. Squirrel, let's get together. All right, let's. They live happily together, but they can't seem to have any children. The rabbit says, it's probably because I'm a rabbit, and you're a squirrel, maybe. Let's go ask the wise owl for advice. They go to the owl. The rabbit says, owl, we live together, love each other, but we don't have any children. It's probably because I'm a rabbit, and she's a squirrel. Have you lost your minds? It's because you're both males. Eddie and Bobby were walking through a cornfield in Alabama. Suddenly, Billy stopped, seeing a sheep with its head stuck in a fence. Oh, look, a nice party for the girl, he exclaimed happily. Billy rushed to the sheep, took off his pants, and quickly started having his way with it. Finishing his business, Billy pulled up his pants, stepped aside, and nodded to Bobby. Go ahead, buddy. Now it's your turn to party. Bobby sighed, took off his pants, and stuck his head into the fence. A man goes to a hire a team. Give me a girl with big small. Down there, they tell him, all right, please sit in the waiting room and wait. He goes to the waiting room where a crowd of people is sitting, waiting for their turn. After a while, an announcement comes over the radio. The man with big hands and a small penis, please go to room 12. Morning, the family, mom, dad, and son are getting ready to have breakfast. The mother has served semolina porridge on the plates, but the son refuses to eat. She says, son, eat. He shows no emotion. I said eat, but he still refuses. She slaps the son, but he still doesn't eat. Then the father whispers something in the son's ear, and the son quickly eats everything and goes off to school. The mother stands at the stove, stirring the borscht with a lady. She becomes curious about what the father said to the son and asks him. The husband replies, I told him that if he didn't eat the semolina porridge, the little rooster in his pants wouldn't grow. The mother hits him on the head with the ladle. The father asks, what for? She responds for not eating semolina porridge in childhood. A int doctor and a gynecologist were drinking all night and then went to work in the morning. The int doc had no clients, but the gynecologist had many patients. The gynecologist calls the int doc and says, listen, Help me out quickly, and then we can continue the party. The int doc says, what do you mean? I don't know how to do anything. Oh, come on. You just need to look and take notes, says the gynecologist. So they decided. The first woman enters the int's office and sits in the chair. The int doc looks there, looks and says, say ah. The woman says, aye, madam, that's not for you, and he writes something in his notebook. He looks again and says, say, I be. The woman says, Madam, that's not for you, says the int doc and writes something in his notebook again. He looks again and says, say okay. The woman says, K okay, lady, could you please be quiet finally? The lawyer exclaims. Then the woman grabs her things and runs out. The int doc waited, but no one else came. He looked out into the corridor, but there was no one there. Only the cleaner was mopping the floor. He asked her, Christy, there were so many women here. Where did they all go? And she replied, Oh dear, one of your colleagues burst out of the office and shouted, Ladies, save yourselves. The new doctor is teaching how to talk about Dad, a young man will come to see me and will go to the movies. No, let him come to me first. We'll talk. The young man arrives. The father says, Well, tell me, how will you provide for my daughter? I'm going to be a lawyer. Good. Do you live frugally? Oh yes. I know how to spend frugally. All right, you're not going to the movies with my daughter. Here's an orange for you. Go home and tomorrow, tell me what you did with it. The young man went home and, well, an orange is an orange. He took it and ate it. The next day he came back. The father said, so young man, what did you do with the orange? What did I do? No. Look, you take the orange, cut it in half. Squeeze the juice from one half for them, cut the other half into a salad. You can use the remaining peel as an ashtray and finely chop the other half to get rid of the tobacco smell. Understand? Here's a sausage for you. Show me what you're capable of. You can take my daughter out. The next day, the young man came back and said, 
Look, first I carefully removed the sausage. I made meatballs from one part for an appetizer. I ground the rest into cutlets. I made a necklace for your daughter out of two metal clips and a rope, instead of the diamond necklace I was going to give her. And from the sausage casing, I made a with which I And here it is, by the way, cream for your morning coffee. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.